Hey everyone, it's Kaylee. I am the founder of Zipnada, a sustainable lifestyle brand, and we are in downtown Lake Havasu. We're going to talk to Sienna about upcycled clothing and secondhand clothing. Let's do this. So, um, I like to upcycle clothes and I've been sewing for a really long time. So we started with doing shirts. This my friend Cheryl does a lot of vintage wear um, type of clothing or vintage inspired. So that helps keep it out of the landfills as well. Like this skirt right here, super cute, very vintage leather. It's, you can tell that it's been um, well worn, but it was headed, you know, they were just gonna toss it. Um, so by having you know, a store that deals with vintage and retro stuff. I know some people shy away from it because they feel like it can make them have like a lower class, but in reality it just is helping keep stuff out of the landfill. I do it just because I hate buying new and I don't like the quality of clothing that's coming out nowadays. So I like going and thrift store shopping and finding the more vintage pieces that are made with cotton instead of polyester. It's like we live in a small town, so our shopping places are limited, so a lot of people are gonna wind up with the same clothes. But if you're a thrift store shopper, sometimes they'll bring stuff in from other areas to the thrift stores get better options that way. Um, so wedding dresses is another huge thing. People wear them once, spend thousands of dollars on them, and then usually stuff them in a box. And they don't see them again for years. Um, and lots of times they'll be like, oh, well, I'll save it for my daughter. And then the daughter comes along and decides it's not in style. It's not what she wants. So we started doing bridal consignment. Some of them are new. Some of them are used. Um, but it helps keep them, you know, from just being shoved in a box that will then later in 20 years be tossed into the landfill. We also upcycle wedding gowns that are donated and turn them into bereavement gowns for babies or um, like bereavement blankets for babies that are born too early or stillborn or you know die early due to some type of medical um, condition shortly after birth. Um, we also upcycle um, firefighter turnouts and we make ring bearer bags um, that you can attach your rings to. We do the backpacks with them. We make makeup cases. So this helps keep turnouts out of the landfills too. They're only good for 10 years. And once they reach that 10 year mark, then they have to be decommissioned and they can no longer be used to um, fight fires. And a lot of times they wind up in landfills as well. So by taking the media, the, the jackets apart and turning them into something else after they've been properly cleaned, um, there can still be some use out of them. Is our alterations rack for in and out stuff. So this shirt came in, the girl had worn it once and the zipper broke. So we took the zipper bottom out and were able to fix the zipper versus having to replace it. Um, sometimes you can't fix them and you do have to replace them. So it kind of helps keep stuff out of the landfill if you can get it fixed versus buying new again. So if your zipper breaks in your jeans, it's like 20 bucks to get a new zipper, sometimes 25 and by getting the new zipper you keep things out of the landfill so it makes them last longer. Fabric softener is really really bad for your clothing. It makes the durability of them break down. The crunchy elastic, you pull on something and it goes that is because fabric softener has been used on the elastic and it adheres to it in the dryer and essentially when you break it apart, when you stretch it out, it stays open because it's pushed the little wrinkles in, so to say, on your elastic and it won't let the elasticity go. So anything with elastic in it, workout clothes that have elastin in them or spandex or lycra, you should most definitely never use a fabric softener with. 
because it breaks the fabric down and sticks to it and essentially just melts your elastic together. Uh, no scents on them because it usually has like, chemicals in it that will break the clothing down. Uh, hang dry. The dryer a lot of times will heat your fabrics up. Um, you can shrink them. It just makes the wear on them a lot harder, whereas if you just wash them and hang dry them, they last longer. It also saves electricity, so you're not burning the electricity out. Power. So I just wanted to leave you guys with some key points. Be sure to buy secondhand clothing whenever possible. Look for natural materials such as cotton, hemp, wool, linen, or leather. To make your clothing last longer, wash in cold, air dry, and stay away from chemical fabric softeners. Finally, when something rips or breaks, try and have it mended to further prolong its life. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.